Hello and welcome to today's video guys. When it comes to the PMP certification, why do you think that most of the project managers want to get PMP certified? The answers are pretty common, right? It is either to get a great project management job or to make a career switch from administration to project management or to get their dream promotion once they are PMP certified, right? And these are really nice aspirations to go for. But do you know what's really unfortunate guys? It often happens that in spite of getting the PMP certification, the candidate is still not able to crack an interview, make the career switch they were looking for or even struggle a lot to get their dream job or promotion. Let's look at a few real life case studies. Have a look at this snippet from a social media site. Past four months ago, still have not received any job offers. So if you notice guys, this person is a senior project manager with over 10 years of work experience, PMP certified, right? But still struggling to get a job. Now here is another example. My sister got her PMP certification in 2009, still at the same position at work. So what do you think really went wrong? And here is a third example for you. My PMP not acknowledged by my bosses. Notice that how this person worked so hard to get PMP certified and now quite unfortunately the company is not acknowledging the certification. So you see guys getting PMP certified is just one part of the story. So in this video today we'll be talking about a few key watchouts that you need to have as a project manager who is aspiring to become PMP certified so that you do not end up in situations like these after your PMP certification. What good will it be for all the time, effort and money you spend to get PMP certified if you end up in situations like this after your certification? So let's get the discussion started. Also, if you are preparing for the PMP exam, please check out my online courses on PMP exam preparation on Udemy. Links will be provided in the description section. Right. So the first thing that you need to keep in mind guys, when it comes to getting a certification, it can be PMP, it can be Prince2, it can be any certification, they do not entitle to get you a job, okay? Now this is very important and let me help you understand what I mean by that. Certifications in your career guys does two things, okay? Number one, they provide you the required knowledge because without that knowledge, you will not be able to apply those best practices in your actual real life scenarios. Okay. And number two, certifications provide you maximum chances to be shortlisted for an interview. Okay. So let's say if you have a CAPM or a Prince2 or a PMP certification, the chances of your CV getting shortlisted for an interview increases dramatically. Okay. But here is the word of caution, guys. Only having certifications doesn't help you to get a job, okay? You still have to earn it. You still have to prove your mettle in the interview to the interview panel that you are the right candidate for the job, regardless of having the certifications. So I would highly recommend that you keep this in mind whenever you are pursuing any certification so that you understand the correct intent of having a certification as a professional in your CV. So to make sure that your PMP certification gets you your dream job guys, work on your interview skills, focus on building your overall profile as a project manager and in your interview provide that level of confidence to the interviewers that you are not only a person who is good at passing exams but also you are a project manager who applies the best standards and practices learnt in the certification process to drive excellence in real life projects. Because that is where guys you will see the magic happening. If you are liking this video guys, please make sure you press the like button. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel PMP with Ray, please consider subscribing for more informational videos like this on the PMP exam. Okay, so the second important tip which you need to keep in mind when you are preparing for your PMP certification is employers always look for business continuity and job fit whenever it comes to recruiting. Okay, and this relevant skill set and business continuity is with or without the PMP certification. Okay, now let me help you understand that with an example. 
Let's take a scenario that you are the hiring manager for an IT organization in India and you are looking out for a project manager to lead a cyber security project. The current project manager has resigned and you have about four to six weeks to hire a new one before the current project manager leaves the company without providing any handover. Now you receive two CVs on your table. The first profile is let's say of Maria's who doesn't have any certification, but she has some very good experience leading IT, cybersecurity and data infrastructure projects in India. And on the contrary, the second profile you have received, let's say is of Lucy's. Okay. Now Lucy holds a PMP certification and not only PMP, let's say Lucy holds a Prince2 certification as well. The two gold standard certifications in project management. However, Lucy has worked in civil and mechanical engineering projects and does not have any work experience doing projects in India. Now you tell me honestly guys, if you were the hiring manager, who would be your obvious choice for this role? Of course, it will be Maria, right? Now if you reject the second profile, which is of Lucy, and Lucy thinks that in spite of having PMP, in spite of having Prince2 certifications, she was not able to crack the job and she starts to think that certifications are worthless. Is that a valid logic guys? So for this precise reason guys, after your PMP certification, when you are applying for jobs, always try to find a continuity with your current industry and build upon your existing work experience. Now I am not saying guys that getting a job in a completely new profile or switching industries from one domain to a completely new domain is impossible after PMP. But it's always a sensible approach to build on what you already have rather than starting with a totally clean slate after your PMP certification. You have definitely done some good work in your professional life till now. Try to encash that rather than flushing out everything down the drain after your PMP certification and trying to start all afresh. Right, so the next tip which you need to keep in mind while applying for jobs after your PMP is to understand the fit of the PMP certification with the country where you are applying for jobs. So in a nutshell guys, you need to target your job search in countries where PMP is valued as a certification. Now you need to understand this guys, okay? PMP essentially is a United States based certification. So the maximum value of PMP is in the US and Canada. So if you are based out of the US or Canada and you are holding this certification, then great, you have just hit the sweet spot. Now over the last decade or so, PMP has increasingly become acceptable in countries such as India, Middle East and Indonesia. So even if you are based out of these locations currently, you are in sync with the PMP certification when it comes to career building. However, if you are based in countries such as the United Kingdom or the European Union or Australia and you are trying to find a job after PMP certification, you are swimming against the tide guys, okay? Now I have explained this concept in detail in one of my videos guys. So please watch it if you need further details, okay? But to summarize, the PMP certification is not valued equally across all countries. So in countries such as the United Kingdom or the European Union or Australia, Prince2 is valued more than PMP, okay? Now if you don't know that, you will do your PMP certification, then you will try to find a job in let's say Australia, you will be unsuccessful and then you will question the credibility of the PMP certification. Now on the other side of the spectrum guys, if you have done PRINCE2 certification and after PRINCE2 you are looking out for jobs in the US or Canada, you are neither doing a justification to the certification nor to yourself, okay? So if you look at this snippet, I have made an assessment on which certifications are most valued across different countries. So if you are planning to do a project management certification, make sure that it's aligned to this chart, okay? It will save you a lot of rework and frustration upfront. Thank you for watching guys. If you have liked the video, please press the like button and I will see you again soon in another video like this on this channel. Bye-bye.